This is one of the thousands of setups in the Table Map Library, an HTML book that describes cue ball patterns on a 9 foot table. These patterns are very helpful when you play one pocket matches and nine ball competitions. This video shows the path that the cue ball will travel around the table, from the I5 position to the G1 diamond target on the rail. Each setup in the book shows three different patterns, based on the spin you apply to the cue ball. For all of the 1030 patterns, the cue ball rolls at a 45 degree left angle. For the 12 o'clock patterns, the cue ball rolls on a vertical line. For the 130 patterns, the cue ball rolls at a 45 degree right angle. For each shot, the tip contact on the cue ball must be exactly one cue tip width out from the center. This is the 1030 spin from the I5 position. The running English on the cue ball comes off the first rail and rolls towards the corner pocket. The ball comes off the second and third rail with the running English. It then travels diagonally up table. If you are kicking to a ball in this area, your opponent will be surprised that you are able to get there using this path. This is the 12 o'clock spin, from the I5 position. This is a simple kick shot back and forth cross side. If there are a lot of interference balls and you are kicking into the corner, this is a good way to get into that area. Notice that the ball comes into the second rail with reverse spin. This shortens up the angle out. There aren't many players who can see this pattern and make good use of this path. This is the 130 spin, from the I5 position. The reverse spin off the first rail straightens out the path and makes it go perpendicular. This sends the cue ball back and forth side to side on the table. At the third rail, the cue ball has some reverse spin, and the ball starts backtracking. If you are kicking to a ball in this zone, the ball path will help make good hit on the target object ball. You can buy the HTML book on the Billiard Gods website. The table map library shows critical ball patterns for one pocket and nine ball players. The author has also written these books, all created to help players improve their shooting and thinking skills. The Billiard Gods blog has posts that include excerpts from these books. Good luck. Have fun. And shoot straight.